Well, the big rain and thunderstorms for last night is over, but a couple of little showers have been around Southern Cameron County early this morning. Those have mostly faded away too. If you look at the radar over just the last hour, the rain that was around Brownsville we were tracking has mostly fallen apart or moved off to the north, and there's not much else out there this morning, but we could see a little shower, maybe a weak thunderstorm this afternoon. We see all the big rain that moved through Texas and the valley now well offshore and moving away, but we should see another round of storms probably fire up in this area of the hill country into our northwest and then move our way very late tonight or tomorrow morning, but we're talking you know, maybe five, six, seven o'clock in the morning or so. It could be very late before it gets here tonight and highs today near 91 partly sunny most of today about a 20 percent chance during the day there could still be a shower or maybe a wheat storm but overnight tonight we're talking maybe more like 50 60 70 percent chance for rain uh, very late tonight now what's happening is we have a storm system in the upper levels this is looking at the upper level flow in the atmosphere and those little lines on there indicate that flow and if you kind of look at the lines they're kind of going this way coming out of mexico and uh, West Texas and toward our way. So that will force anything that forms to come in from the West and Northwest late tonight. So storms could form tonight. You see them right there early tomorrow morning moving through the valley on the map. And then once this upper level storm system just a little farther eastward, I think we may catch a break from most of the rain on Wednesday and Thursday. I think rain chances are much lower Wednesday and Thursday. But if you're making plans next weekend, uh, this computer model and some of them kind of have uh, this upper level storm system with a little kind of little piece of it, that black dash line I drew in there, the upper level trough kind of hanging back, and that could spark a few more showers and storms for the weekend. So we may not totally lose this storm system out of the forecast until maybe early next week, and that means maybe not big time rain this weekend, but we'll wait and see. But there could be some scattered daytime showers and storms popping up at least on Saturday and Sunday. So if you're already making plans for next weekend, Maybe factor in still a rain chance. If you are going toward the coast today, it's Memorial Day. A little breeze around, but uh, high tide this morning, a low tide late this evening. Water temperatures in the low 80s, still a high risk of rip current, so you might want to be careful swimming there today if you're heading out in the waters and on the beach. And the first 1 5 AccuWeather 7 day forecast, low 90s today, but 80s tomorrow because of clouds, and then some of that rain may really cool temperatures tomorrow. After that, I think we're back in the low 90s Wednesday and Thursday, but then late in the weekend, if we do get some clouds and rain, that may drop temperatures a little bit. So uh, not super hot anytime soon, but still pr feeling pretty warm for your Memorial Day. We'll keep tracking in your first 1-5 forecast here.